All right, let's do some theory for fun. So today we're going to prove that this language, 0 to the n, 1 to the n, where n is at least 0, is not regular. And we'll try to prove it as easily as possible. So remember that regular means that there exists a, a DFA for the language. And if we want to show that this is not regular, then what we have to do is to show that there does not exist a DFA for this language. So if we want to prove this, one method we can go about doing it is supposing that a DFA exists and then reaching some kind of contradiction. So suppose a DFA D exists for this language. So we're just supposing that a DFA exists. And let's suppose that D has N states. So because the DFA exists, it must have some finite number of states and let's let that number be n. We don't know what the number of states is. Let's just consider, uh, let's just say that it has n states. Then let's look at this string. So let's look at the string 0 to the n, 1 to the n. Well, it's in the language above because it has zeros at the front, ones at the back, and the same number of each. So therefore, D accepts the string W. But what does that tell us here? Well, look at the number of states we have. Well, let's look at the prefix of the string, which is all zeros, and it has n zeros. Because there are n states, then that means that when we execute those n transitions corresponding to the zeros, there must be a repetition. So there must be a repetition in the zero part because, if I can spell the word because, because uh, there are n zeros and n states. And we can see why this is a repetition because uh, reading n transitions causes n plus 1 states to be visited. Because if I don't read anything, then that means I have seen one state. If I read one character, that means I've seen two states. So if I have uh, taken n transitions, I've seen n plus one states. And this is a uh, thing we should note because we've seen n plus one states and there are only n states in the entire machine. So there must be a repetition. So suppose that the repetition, repetition occurs like so. So I'm just going to blow it up the string. It has a bunch of zeros in it and then a bunch of ones. So let's say that Somewhere in here, let's say that this part is the repeat part. So uh, we ended up in some state at this point, And after we read this repeat part, we end up back, the, back at the exact same state because there's a repetition. I don't know what state that is, but there must be a state like that. So what if I just take the exact same string and repeat this 
part twice. Or zero times or three times, any number is fine, but let's just say twice. Then that means that we know that the repeat part has at least one zero. Because if it was only one, then that would correspond to an epsilon transition, which does not exist in a DFA, which we assumed exists. So that means there is at least one zero. But this means there are at least, and I should say it like this, there are at least n plus 1 zeros in the string. And only n ones. So this is a contradiction. Because the language that we talked about was the set of all strings that have the same number of zeros and ones. And if we derive a string that has more zeros and ones, and we know that it will land in the accept state, because by doing the repeat part twice, we still end up in the same state at the very end, which we will assume is a final state because we chose the string originally to end up in a final state because it's in the language. So therefore, the string that we uh, must accept at this point is not in the language that we suppose the DFA had. So this is a contradiction, and so therefore, the DFA D cannot exist for this language. But we suppose that it existed. So therefore, this language is not regular. So this was a direct proof that the language 0 to the n, 1 to the n is not regular.